guys have pets? Wyatt, do you have pets? Yeah. What kind of pets do you have? I have cats. A cat. Oh my goodness. You got a cat? I know Lisa has a cat. And a I really got this. I have a cat. Whoa. No, show them the whole thing. All right. Look at that. I got a giant teddy bear. <laughs> I got a way giant teddy bear. Look at this. The teddy bear is going to do our lesson today. Hi, everybody. I'm the teddy bear. And today we're going to learn about humans. Who wants to learn about people? That's it. That's, that's it. Don't beat up the teddy bear. Okay, the teddy bear goes away. Hi, Mia. Oh, look, Mia has a giraffe. Wow. Can you show? Uh, that's not a giraffe. Those are noodles. <laughs> I was so close. Hi, hey, Mia. How are you? Yeah, Mia. All right, my friends. Okay, we're gonna talk about Dove. I need you to stop going back and forth. Okay, all right, we're gonna talk about animals today, of course. And so I have a question for all of you guys. Are you ready for my question? I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait until Mia's got a mouthful of food and then I'm gonna call on her. Oh, she's got a piggy. Is that piglet? Is it Peppa Pig? Yes. Yes. Hi, Peppa Pig. How are you? Okay. And I think we got Spencer here as well, right? Hi, Spencer. If you're talking about animals, I'll have too much questions. Yeah, we, we, have, we have animals. And I already animals. know too much about animals. You know too much about animals, Aton? I know way more than you. You do? Okay, well, why don't, why don't you take over and you lead our lesson today and we'll just listen. Okay, everybody. Aton is going to do our lesson today. Listen to Aton, everybody. Say what animals do, that's it. Okay, well, why don't you give me an animal and tell me what they do? Uh, um, uh, maybe a leopard or a jaguar. A leopard or jaguar, what do they do? Uh, one of them is a master at camouflage. A master at camouflage, that's really good. You know what? I think you might be leading our lesson today because you've already hit on a couple of points that I wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk about animals and what they do and what we know about them. Okay. I want them to be everything. And, and I... I everything. Okay. okay. Dove, I'm going to show them the Lesson, okay? This is the last thing. Agreed? We have a turtle. Can you guys hear me okay? Yes, and we have a cat, and we have a oh, an elephant. No fox. And a, this is an you know, elephant. You know, somebody just called me fox. This looks. Like an elephant. Here. It looks like a, it's got a long gray trunk. No, it's a it's a, a fox. Stop. Oh, it's a fox. Okay, we got a fox, and you know, so I'm leaving the lesson. Remember. Oh, you are leading the lesson, Eitan? Okay, Eitan is leading the lesson. Can you, can you take the animals away now? And Okay, Eitan, take it away. Tell us about the jaguar and the leopard, and which one is the master at camouflage? Is it the jaguar or the leopard? I forgot. You forgot? Who knows what camouflage is? Does anybody know? Camouflage is something like a tornado. It's something like a tornado? Okay, that's a good guess. What else? It's not a tornado. It's like, it's something like you, you like, you like make, you could like um, do the same color. Like, like if we were black like this, mm -hmm. I, if I was black like that, my dad wouldn't see me. Like if you were standing next to a black microphone and you were the same color, then it would be hard to see you. Yeah, that's a pretty that's a pretty good answer. That's right. Animals, animals. Uh, leading the lesson. Animals have to hunt, right? Aton, jaguars and leopards. They have to hunt and and find food. Do they eat like uh, mice and squirrels? What do you, do you know? What they eat? Leopards and jaguars. Yes, I can tell you whatever you want. They can eat whatever they want. Do they eat chocolate? No. Like when it, when Aton don't eat zebra. No, when a leopard. I tell you, um, when, um, leopards eat 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 sloths. They eat sloths. Okay. And they eat spider monkey. 
Oh, so when a leopard is hungry, it just goes to the refrigerator, opens the refrigerator, takes out a sloth, gets a fork and a knife, and eats the sloth. That's how it works, right? No! They no? just hunt. They, they, they camouflage, yeah. and, and, and then and then they try to catch you. Oh, so wait, you're saying leopards and jaguars don't have a refrigerator? No! They don't have hands! What do they have? They have claws to take it. Oh, they have claws. Okay, well, what about bears? Bears have refrigerators, right? <laughs> no, I'm going to tell you everything what I want because I'm the leader. You are. I'm, I'm asking you. So what, which animals have refrigerators? None. What about, what about microwaves? Which, which animals have microwaves? None. Which animals? Which animals? They hunt. Oh, they, they have to hunt. Um, oh, they have to hunt. They have to, they have to jump in the air and catch birds right out of the air. Oh, so they so animals have to have to catch each other in order to eat, right? Papa, did you, did you in a, in a minute. Papa, did you let them just? Yeah, in a minute. So okay, so Etan Etan brought up a good point. Animals don't have refrigerators. They have to go out and catch each other in order to eat, right? They have to hunt. Yeah, that's called hunting, right? Yeah, so let me ask I, you guys. I got a point here. Let me ask you guys a question. If you were, if you lived, if you, if you were a bear, you lived in a dark forest, like a, a dark brown and green and black forest, would you be a better hunter if you were an orange bear or a brown bear? Brown, brown bear. Why brown? Who thinks, who thinks brown and why? Because it can camouflage. Oh, because the brown bear is hard to see, right? Oh. But they don't live in the forest. Bears don't live in the forest? I think, yeah. they're, they're, leaf, they're leaf in the forest. They're leaf. Very good. Okay, we're going we're gonna to stop for one second and I have a, a slightly... <laughs> I'm going to take over for you for a minute. I have a slightly different question for you, okay? Uh -huh. we, we think about animals, and oftentimes we kind of give animals, um, we, we think animals behave a certain way, right? For example, I'm going to, we're going to play this game. I'm going to tell you an animal. Oh, I know this game. And you tell me something about this animal, like the way it behaves yeah. or what it does, okay? So, you guys ready? That's right. How about dog? What are dogs like? Bones. They eat bones. What else? What do we know about bones. dogs? What are they like? Bones. Yes, Lana. Yes, Lana. What are dogs like? Bones. Are dogs nice? Or are they mean? They're nice. They're nice. Are they clever? They freak me. Are, are they? Do they? Do they protect their humans? Do they protect their owners? Yeah. Yes. Are no. they? Are they loyal? Who knows what that word means? Loyal. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. Loyal, loyal mean, means. Yes. No, loyal means that they're 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 like committed to their their person that they're with. They commit. Yeah. They're they're committed to the person. That what about commit means pretty with cut. Oh, yeah, kind of. What about Rami? I thought Rami, Rami had a snake. Rami had a snake. I'm gonna tell you something. No, hey, what you, happened was my dress is broken. R hold on a second, Lisa. Rami had a snake. I don't know where he went, but he had one. And can you guys tell me what do we know about snakes? What are snakes like? Are snakes loyal? No. Are they nice to humans? No, they're not. What are snakes like? They eat rats and stuff. Mm. Whatever they see, they eat. Uh-huh, they, they hunt, yeah, okay. No, whatever yes, Lana. They see, they whatever eat. they see, they eat. Okay, Lana. They have, they have no background. They have no background? Backbone. They have no backbone. They have no backbone, that's right. Yes, Lisa, what else do we know about snakes? Um, they're just some notes like they slither. 
Yeah, they're low on the ground. They don't have legs, right? So they kind of crawl on the ground. Okay. What about? This animal is cool. I'm gonna tell you. What about dolphins? What are dolphins like? Very smart. Very smart. Are they loyal? Are they fun? They're fun. Yes, they're fun. Dolphins are fun. They like to play. Yes, Lana. Oh, yeah. They are nice. They're nice. Dolphins are nice. Okay, what else? They love to swim. They love to swim. That's true. Okay, one more animal. What about... Uh, I know one. Which one, Eitan? Tasmanian devil. Tasmanian devil. Wow, that's a really cool one. What do we know about Tasmanian devils? Um, I don't know what I know. Their teeth ever stop growing because they bite bones. They, they, they bite? Bones. You know what? They they break break I don't, bones. I don't, like and they eat the thing in the bone. Yeah. Yeah, they're, Tasmanian devils are a very interesting animal. They don't live anywhere except for this little tiny <laughs> island. Very cool, guys. So what I wanted to, uh, w the reason I wanted to talk about this is because I think as, as humans, as people, we often give animals uh, like human emotions and human feelings, right? Like animals are fun, animals are loyal, animals are sneaky, animals are clever, animals are lazy, right? We often, we often think about animals like which, which animals are lazy? Who knows a lazy animal? Yeah, cats are kind of lazy, right? House cats, they sleep like 20 hours. Yes, Lana. Snails. Snails are lazy. I don't know if they're lazy or not. They're, they move slowly, but that doesn't necessarily mean they're lazy, right? But we often do give animals human characteristics, right? Who can tell me, who can tell me, who remembers animal stories that parents read? Do you guys remember some animal stories? Who remembers a story about animals? I remember one. We just read it. I remember one. Which one, Lisa? I don't remember, but I know this one. You know a story about animals? Remember a few lessons ago we read a book called Grumpy Monkey? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know that book, Grumpy Monkey? Do you, do you know? I got a book. I got a book and you I know, can tell, I'm tell you something. in my room. Tell me something. Um, I could bring my book. Yeah, um, bring it, Eitan. I want to tell you something. Yeah, tell me, tell me. I'm listening, Lisa. Uh, in my school, I have Grumpy Monkey. I have this book in my book. You have the Grumpy Monkey book. Very good. Do, who no, knows I have it in my school. In the school? Who, ha who knows the story of the three little pigs? You know the story of the three little pigs? I do. Yeah? Who can tell me the story of the three little pigs? What was the story about? Oh, you have a cat. Very cool, Lana. Good. You remember the- This is a book about animals. Oh, it's a book about animals. Okay. But you guys remember the three little pigs, right? There was the, uh, there were three pigs and they were all playing and they were all- Wow, look at that big book about animals. That's beautiful, Eitan. Very nice. Well, that one. Oh, it's a tiger. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah, so remember the, the, the uh, story about the three little pigs. There were three pigs, and they were all playing, and they yeah, were yeah. But yeah. then, what did, the, what did they have to do to prepare for the winter? Who remembers? They had to build houses. My dress is right? broken. My dress is broken. Yeah, they had to build houses, right? The three little pigs. The first, the first little pig built its house out of what? Hey, I got a book about the three little pigs. You got one too, so you should know the story. The first. Here's a page. Here's one, Here's one page. Mm-hmm. That page got just a little bit. Very good. We are going, that's an orca. That is cool, it got dead animals. You guys, do you guys remember in the very beginning, Eitan was telling us about camouflage? Yeah. Yeah. That's a favorite to tiger. I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to show you guys an animal. Can you tell me what animal this is? Who knows what animal this is? Oh my goodness. Zebra. It's a zebra? 
They don't camp on. They the best but their stripes for the animals don't. Yeah. So zebras, zebras have interesting camouflage, right? Zebras are. Take a look at my. Uh, take a look at my screen for a second. I'm gonna try to. You guys, you guys recognize these animals here? Uh huh. Yeah. Right. What animals? What cheetah animals? Are these? I found the page with a cheetah. Very cool. Do you guys remember these animals here? Which one? Who knows what these animals are? Zebra. They're zebras, right? So, uh -huh. so how come zebras have this weird camouflage, black and white stripes? Look at this. It's a zebra, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. It's pretty. It's don't know where to start an It's pretty easy to see the zebra, right? Mm -hmm. You guys see the zebra or not see the zebra? Can see it? I can definitely see the zebra. So how come zebras have black and white stripes if it's so easy to see them? Mm -hmm. Who knows? This is the eye eye. Yeah. This is the eye eye. Who hunts? Who's who hunts zebras? Uh, when the fire comes, uh, in, him, um, fire helps to um the stripes so they can see um the people. The the zebras, the zebras yeah. have black and white stripes, and that's their camouflage, right? But who knows? Why zebras have black and white stripes? Oh, I didn't find a zebra either. He said, Oh, look at the baby panda. Oh, zebra. Mm -hmm. Here is it. Let's look at some other animals doing camouflage. Okay, let's take a look. Can you guys see my screen here? Oh. Who can find Who can find the animal in this picture? Can you tell me what animal is hiding in this picture here? Um, that animal. Which animal? Um, in the middle there. What is, what is that animal called? Owl. It's an owl. Very good. Isn't that crazy? You can, almost can't see it. It looks just like the tree, right? Yeah. Okay, let's look at the next one. Let's see, let's see who can find the next animal. Can you guys see an animal in this picture? A snake. It's a snake. It's a snake? Where is it? Um, there. It's on the tree branch? Yeah, there. Yeah, it's, it's right over here. I'm going to move my little arrow. It's a gecko, right? And it's almost like a tree branch. What about here in this Can you see an animal in this picture? Yes. It's, a, it's another gecko, right? It looks just like the trunk of the tree. Look, there it is. There it is. Let's look at another one. Can you guys see an animal in this picture? Yes. I see an animal oh, there. Very good. That's right. There's a bird there. It's right over here. See, there's little eyes and the beak. It's white. You almost can't see it against the snow, right? What about over here? Who can see an animal here? What the? A frog. Yeah, these are toads. They, they look just like leaves, right? Look at these toads over here. This one and this one and this one. They almost look just like the leaves that they're sitting on, right? What about over here? Who can see an animal in this picture? Mm -hmm. I see an animal. Yeah, there's a cat. There's a caterpillar right over here in the middle of the leaf. Can you see that? Oh. Can you see that? There? It's it just like the leaf. What about over here? Can you see an animal? Yes, that's a seahorse. It's a seahorse. Very good, and you can see it. It looks, it looks like the coral that it lives on. Right, it's over here. The seahorse. What about this one? Can you see an animal here? Spencer might be able to find. Yeah. Spider there. There's a spider right in the middle. It looks just like a fox, right? What about over here? Can you guys see an animal here? Yes. That's right. There's a, there's a caterpillar right there on that. What about over here? Can you guys see an animal here? Yes. That's a stick animal. Yes, it's, a, it's, an, it's an insect that looks just like a stick. Wow, isn't that crazy? Uh -huh, and what, I saw what, it before. What about over here? Can you guys see an animal here? This one and is that frog. There's a frog here? No way. Where? There. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Wow, it looks almost just like the tree. It's almost impossible to see, right? 
Uh -huh. Oh, that's amazing. Well, what about here? Can anybody see an animal in this picture? <gasps> what? Wow, it's an owl. You guys, it's hiding. Look at that. It looks just like the trunk of the tree, right? That's They're hiding on trees. What about here? Can anybody see an animal? That's right. Yep, absolutely. There it is. Looks just like a leaf. And what about over here? Can you guys see this animal? A million. A million. Yes, it's a gecko, right? And it looks just like the leaf and even has... It ta its tail looks like a leaf. Isn't that crazy, you guys? Look yeah. at that. Uh -huh. and what about over here? Can you guys see an animal in these two pictures? Yeah. Flounder. 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 That's right. Those are, those are fish that ju look just like rocks and the sand that they live near, right? What about over here? Owl. What animal is that? That's a bird, right? Owl. It's a sort of a bird that looks just like a tree trunk. And, oh my god. And what about here? This is the hardest one. Can you guys see an animal right here in this picture? Uh no. There it is. It's 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 right there. It's a snow leopard, right? It looks just like the rocks that it's it's standing against right at the background. What about over here? Can anybody see this animal here? Um this spider. It's a it's called the katydid. It's a, kind of like a grasshopper. But see it it looks just like the leaves. And what about here? And anybody see this one? Yes. That's an owl. Wow, that's right. It looks just like the sand, isn't that? What about this animal? Giraffe. It's a giraffe. That's right. Look at that. There it is. Big tall giraffe. Isn't that crazy? You can hide a big tall giraffe like that. Look what a huge animal, and you can barely see it, right? What about this one? It's a hedgehog. That's right. It looks. I just like it. I just. It's so cute. It's super cute, but don't touch it. I, I have a toy of hedgehog. Very cool. That's right. Was that fun, you guys? Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So let's go back to our zebras. So all of our animals that we just looked at that camouflage themselves. That. Why well, still got stuff to say? Why do zebras? Why do zebras look like this? Why are zebras black and white stripes? Because it's pretty easy to see this zebra, right? I mean, look at this one zebra here. You can, unlike the other animals that we looked at, this zebra is pretty visible, right? It's like right there. It's super easy to see. So why, why does a zebra have black and white stripes? Who can tell me, maybe, maybe, maybe Rami or H. Hang on. Why? Let me ask this. Let's see if they know the answer to this. Maybe why? Uh, who hunts the zebra? Who likes to eat zebras? I know lion. Lions like to eat zebras, right? So lions hunt the zebras. And who can tell me one interesting thing about lions and the way that they see with their eyes? Who knows? There's a really interesting fact about lions and how they see. Who knows? <laughs> Kids or some big. Yeah, when we when we look at when we look at something as people, can we see things in color? Like, what color is my tie? Yellow. Yellow. What color is my shirt? Blue. What color are Dove's pajamas? Blue and white. What color are Dove's pajamas? A uh, black, white, red, a uh, brown. Uh, a little bit darker yeah. brown and it's green. It's amazing, right? The, as humans, we can see a lot of different colors. But did you know that lions can't see in color? They can only see in black and white. Did you know that? Yeah. So because the lion is one of the main predators that hunts zebras, and the lion can only see in black and white, it turns out that the zebra black and white stripes, especially when they are in a big group together, like this group here, it's really hard for a lion to see this picture of the zebra against the background of the place where they live, like in the, in kind of in, on the plains, right? On the, on the African plains. So, even though it doesn't seem like camouflage to us, this, black and white stripes for the zebras is actually a really effective way 
to hide from lions when there's a lot of zebras in a big group. Oh, zebras! Because lions can't see in color. They can only see in black and white, okay? All right, what? let me... Yeah, but zebras are black and white. I know, but that's a really good point. But when there's a lot of zebras like this, the lion can't I make I keep this animal in my book. Oh, so, that, so it, it kind of like looks kind of like a tree or a rock. Exactly, yeah, it just kind of looks like part of the background. Here is the biggest and hard, yes, Eitan. Um, and I found this stink animal in my book. You found a stick, stick animal in your book? No, it's stink. Oh, you found an extinct animal in your book. It's the only extinct animal in this book. Okay, which one is that? I read all the pages. Which animal is extinct? I'm um, a tiger. Oh, that's right. So this is, Eitan is doing a really, really good job of helping us lead the lesson today. Because Eitan is bringing up a lot of really interesting points. So what does it mean when an animal goes extinct? Um, there are no more. There are no more of them. And why might an animal go extinct? Why might that happen? Because the Tasmanian tiger, um, people were killing them because they'll eat their sheep. Their sheep farming and killing them. No. Yeah. And then they eat them. That's right. That's right. There are lots of different reasons why animals can go extinct. But one of the main reasons is that something really major changes in their environment where they live. Maybe the temperature changes, or maybe like they run out of food, or maybe the dinosaurs, like a, like a meteor hit the earth, right? Oh, wait, let me, let me, can I bring the dinosaurs? No, let's not bring the dinosaurs today, because we had a different episode about dinosaurs. So, uh, what, since we're, we're gonna wrap up talking about camouflage with one really important point. Animals camouflage themselves to hide from predators, like zebras hide, hide from lions when they're yeah together all those animals we looked at in the pictures all those animals we looked at in the pictures they were all hiding against their background but as a as a predator you also want to be camouflaged because if you're not camouflaged then what if you're a bear and you're hunting in the snow do you want to be a black bear or a white bear a white why because, like, something could, um, like, if, if you're hunting, then you have camouflage, and the other animals can't see you very well. Ah, that's right. The animals that you're hunting, the animals that you're trying to eat, they can't see you, right? So as a hunter, you also want to be camouflaged. And as an animal that's being hunted, you want to be camouflaged. It really helps you survive as an animal when you are not very visible, right, against the, the environment that you live in. Yes, Eitan? Um, I got a lot of questions, so can I talk? Yes, please, ask your questions. Um, and, I could, and I got a lot of stuff I, need, I want to tell. Um, a lot of stuff, okay, well, we're listening. Um, I, know, I know a lot of extinct animals, and I could say some. Go for it, we're listening. A megalatopus. Okay, what kind of animal is that? Um, they're a lemur, and they are the size of a bear. Okay, and did they go extinct a long time ago, or pretty recently? Uh, I think a long time ago. Okay, what other um, animals? Because people were killing them. Oh, so they went extinct because of people. When people arrived in Madagascar, they were killing them. Oh, so they went extinct because people were killing them and hunting them. Uh, like, a le like some sort of a lemur? Like some, kind of like a monkey? Yeah? Okay, tell us one more animal that you have there that went extinct, Dayton. Um, 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 the no bird, they live on an island. Mm-hmm. And why did they go extinct? Because the hungry sailors ate them. Oh, I see. Yeah, there's a lot of different animals that went extinct, right? He is talking about animals that went extinct, that don't live anymore, that don't exist anymore. Like dinosaurs. Like dinosaurs, but there are a lot of other animals that went extinct as well. Yes, Elon. Oh, 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 oh. 
No. Ivan, yes, did you have a question? Or did you want to say something? Oh, no. That's quite in a long time ago. Uh huh. Uh, there were f um, uh, the fights when they turned on, like, put on green costumes so no one would see them. Oh, you're talking about like soldiers? Yeah. That put on uh, camouflage uniforms so they can also hide against against their enemies. That's right. That's absolutely right. People camouflage also. Okay, guys, we're going to talk about something a little bit different now. We're going to we're going to change gears, okay? So huh? Where who, are you? Who knows the story about the turtle and the hare and the rabbit? Who knows the story about the turtle and the rabbit? Does anybody know that story? Yeah, raise your hand if you know the story about the turtle and the rabbit. Lisa knows, Mila knows, yeah. How, is the turtle fast? Is the turtle fast or slow, you guys? Don't stop that. Who are you? Is the turtle fast or slow? Slow. What about slow. the rabbit? Is the rabbit fast or slow? Fast. Fast? So if the turtle and the rabbit had a race, who do you think would win? I didn't. I don't know. Who would win a, in a in a race, a turtle or the rabbit? Rabbit. Rabbit, why? Because it's faster. Because the rabbit's faster? Okay, well, let's read a story about the turtle and the rabbit and find out what happened, okay? We're going to read about their race. You guys ready? Uh -huh. Why well, read? I it's not okay. Uh -huh. I watch. Don't, don't, don't tell them yet. We're going to read the story together. Do you want to come and read the story? Can, yes, tell me real quick. Mom, I'm still in the Uh huh. Maybe. Can I have Papa, Papa please? So we can. Papa, Papa's going to read you guys the story of the turtle and the rabbit, okay? You ready? Device, right. You guys know, I don't think Elon has met Puppet Papa. Elon, check this out. This is our friend Puppet Papa. See, he looks just like me, except he has hair. And that is Evil Bad right there. Evil Bad is going to read us. Okay? All right. So, here is our story of the turtle and the rabbit. You guys ready? Okay. We are going to read it. So, listen up. It's not a very long story, but it's pretty interesting. So, one day, a rabbit was making fun of the turtle for being so slow. Turtle, you are so slow, said the rabbit. How do you ever get anywhere when you can't even move faster than a snail? Yes, yeah, said the turtle, but I move pretty quickly, actually much faster than you think. If you want, we can race and I'll prove it to you. The rabbit thought the turtle was crazy. Are you crazy, turtle, said the rabbit. I am like a hundred times faster than you. I'm like a million times faster than you. And you want to race me? You'll never win. The turtle said, well, I guess there's only way to find one way to find out. So let's do it. So they asked the fox to be the judge and to tell them, ready, set, go. And so one day they went to the woods and they drew a line in the sand and they stood behind the line and the fox said, ready, set, go. And the turtle and the rabbit went off on their way. The rabbit took off running super fast. And the turtle slowly, slowly, slowly made his way down the path. The rabbit a few minutes passed and the rabbit looked back and he couldn't even see the turtle. He was so far ahead. And he thought to himself, oh, this turtle is going to take forever to get to the finish line. And suddenly the rabbit felt kind of tired. And the rabbit figured, you know what? I'm just going to take a nap over here under this tree until the turtle 
maybe catches up with me a little bit. And so the rabbit laid down and took a nap. In the meantime, the turtle kept slowly, 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 slowly going down the path. And the rabbit kept sleeping and the turtle kept going slowly and slowly until it passed the place where the rabbit was sleeping. And then slowly but surely, the turtle got to the finish line. When the rabbit woke up, it was already too late. The turtle had already won the race. So what do you guys think? What do you think about the turtle and the rabbit? The, tur the turtle won. The turtle won. Why did the rabbit lose, do you think? Because he was, he was sleeping and you're not supposed to sleep. Yeah, he took a nap because he was, he was overconfident, right? He was, too, he was too arrogant. He thought, oh, I'm way too fast, so I don't have to try that hard. And he took a nap, and guess what? The turtle won, right? So sometimes it's not how fast you are, it's how hard you try, right, guys? Okay, did you like that story? Yeah. yeah. Good. Good. I'm going to read you one more story that's very similar to that story. Um, it's also about, but it's about totally different animals, okay? So I'm going to read you this wait, next. Wait, let me show you first. My... Okay, first Dove is going to show us, uh, is going to show us his story. Or, no, what are you going to show you? His story. drawing? It's, it's about animals. Okay, you're going to show us your drawing about animals? Okay, but they don't. Mm hmm here they are. Okay, so what's your animals? Okay, so this is a dog, this is a parrot, mm -hmm. this is a bird. Okay. This is, um, so this is a parrot, this is a bird, this is a dog, and this is a crab. A crab, very cool. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, if you guys want to make us some drawings and share them with us, that would be amazing. Okay. I made, I already made a drawing. Show us. I made a tornado. You made a tornado drawing? Yeah. Okay. Very cool. Like the Tasmanian devil. Okay, here is our next story, you guys. Our next story is about uh, the fox and the stork, right? Who knows what a stork looks like? You guys know what, what a stork is? Everybody knows what a stork is? A stork has what? A stork is a bird, right? And it has a very long what? This is my picture. That's a is that a is that a giraffe? A tiger. It's a tiger in a palm tree. Okay, that's no, how a that, fork that, is a bird that has a very long beak, right? Everybody knows what a beak is. Uh huh. Like bird a blue has heron. A, fork has a long beak. Okay, so this is the story about the stork and the fox. Okay. All right, Puppet Papa is gonna help read this story for you guys, so here it is. One day, the fox decided to play a trick on the stork. Hey, stork, said the fox, why don't you come today and join me for dinner? And so the stork was very happy about that and he gladly agreed. The stork came to the fox's house and said, hey fox, thank you for inviting me. What's for dinner? And the fox said, I'm serving soup today. But the fox served the soup to the stork in a very shallow dish, right? And I'm gonna show you what that shallow dish looks like, right? Can you guys, can you guys see that? This right here, see there's the stork there. And there's the fox. And see, the fox served the... See my curly hair. I see your curly hair. The stork has a long beak, and Lisa has really curly hair. So the fox served the soup to the stork in a really shallow dish, right? Because he wanted to play a trick on him. And the stork tried to eat the soup, but he couldn't because the stork has a very long beak. And the, the, the plate was very shallow, so the stork tried to get the soup, but the plate was so shallow, he couldn't get any soup with his long beak. But the fox 
of course, could eat the soup very easily, right? So the fox ate the soup and said, mmm, this soup is so delicious. How's your soup, stork? I can't eat any of the soup, said the stork. I can't reach it with my long beak on this really shallow plate. Well, the fox was very amused by this whole thing, but of course the stork was pretty mad. So then the stork decided to play a trick on the fox. And so the next day, the next day, the stork said, hey fox, boy, you really, I really appreciate that you invited me over for dinner. So I want to be a good friend and I want to invite you for dinner at my house. And so the fox came to dinner at the stork's house and the stork, the fox said, hey stork, thanks for inviting me. What are you serving today? Well, I made this super delicious fish soup, said the stork. And he served the fish soup, but he served it in a very tall and narrow jar, right? So the stork could reach the fish soup in the tall and narrow jar because the stork has a long and narrow beak, right? But could the fox reach the soup in the tall and narrow jar? What do you guys think? No. No, right? Because this, the fox has a tiny little snout, a small face. It couldn't reach the soup. And so the fox was very mad. And the stork said, oh yeah? Well, you did this to me, so I did the same thing to you. I played the same trick on you. And the moral of the story is, is goes back to our very, very first lesson that we did. Do you guys remember? There's a rule about how you should treat people. Who remembers what that rule is called? Combo. It's called the golden rule, right? You should treat people the way that you want to be treated. So if you're kind to people and you do nice things for people, they'll do that for you in return. If you're mean to people and you make fun of them and you try to trick them, then you can expect that they're going to do the same thing back to you, okay? Do you guys want to hear one more story like that? No. No? Yes, yes, yes. You do? Okay, no, well, no, 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 no. If you, if you don't want to hear another story, okay. yes, yes. but if you don't want to hear one, it's okay, but we're going to tell one more, okay? So if you want to, you can go. We, I'm really grateful that you guys joined us today. But if, if you want to stick around, we're going to read just one more story, okay? Yes, and this one more, and that'll be the end of our lesson today. So the last story is, it's going to be another story about a couple of animals. And this story is uh, about another story about the fox and the crow. Right? Oh, I know that story. You know the story? Who knows, what a, who knows what a crow is? What's a crow? I forgot. It's a bird, right? It's like a black bird. A black bird sits yeah. on a branch on a tree. So this is a story about the fox and the crow. So one morning, the fox was walking through the woods and it was looking for something to eat, right? And then he saw a tree and on that tree, the fox saw a crow and the crow can you guys see that? There's the crow, it's sitting on the tree branch. See that? And the fox saw the crow and the crow was holding a piece of cheese in its beak, right? A piece of delicious cheese. <laughs> well, thought the fox, looks like I found my dinner. So he came up to the foot of the tree where the crow was sitting and he said, oh, hello, wonderful crow. The crow turned his head and looked at the fox very suspiciously, but kept the cheese in its beak tightly closed and didn't, didn't say anything back to the fox. Oh, what a beautiful crow, said the fox. Look at those beautiful black feathers <gasps> and that gorgeous black beak. Oh, and those lovely little yellow eyes. Oh, I bet this crow sings wonderful, beautiful songs. Maybe the crow could sing me a song. Well, the crow was very flattered by what the fox said. It made the crow feel very good. And the crow wanted to show the fox just how beautifully the crow could sing. And so the crow opened its beak and started to sing. And what happened? The cheese fell out. The cheese fell out. And the fox grabbed the cheese and ate the cheese 
and said, well, thank you very much, Crow. That was very nice of you. Have a nice day. And walked off into the woods. Oh my God. Mm-hmm. What do you guys think about that story? Yes. Yes? Was the, what was the fox, what was the fox like? A, a, a rainbow fox. The fox was pretty clever, right? It yeah. Tricked, it, tri fox. it tricked the crow in opening its beak. And you the know, do you know, I'm a fox with a hat. curly hair. You're a fox because you got curly red hair, right? Okay, guys, that's, that's our lesson for today. Thank you so much for joining us. That was really fun. And thank you, thank you to all of you. And thank you, Eitan, for helping me lead the lesson today. If you, guys, if you guys want to help me lead the lesson like Eitan helped me today, I'm more than happy. If you want to uh, chime in, if you want to talk some more, if you want to give me some questions and suggestions and ideas, I'm always happy to hear that, okay? Bye. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.